we're looking at songs from Luke, the abridged version. Okay, so this is the alto one part. So at the beginning we have the overture, which is piano, and about halfway through the overture, and the overture is not very long, the chorus will stand, and then you'll see, hopefully you've got the score in front of you, um, bar 27, the upbeat into 28 is where the chorus starts singing. And they're going to sing the tune of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. I'm going to sing in Latin. I'm going to start on an E. And this bit is in unison with everybody else, so all the chorus is singing the same thing here. Veni, veni, o Orient, solarinos ad venient, noctis de Berlin ebulas, dirais qui noctis de And then you've got a few bars that are just piano playing and then you'll hear the piano play a low octave E and then an even lower octave E and then the conductor will bring you in to sing and the men of Amen has got a pause on it. So this is Fanfare's Resound. Now we don't go straight from the overture to Fanfare's Resound, there's going to be uh, somebody being a narrator in between, so listen out for that. Uh, Fanfare's Resound starts with tenor soloist, a little bit of soprano soloist. I don't think it's going to be too tricky to work out when you come in. You'll hear the tenor sing very strongly, a son named John, and at that point the piano music changes. Before that, the piano music was maybe a little bit more serious, um, but where it says cheerfully, so bar 68, which is where you get the John, um, it becomes much more upbeat and jolly. So we come in at bar 71. Now we're in unison with the sopranos for some of this, but not for all of this. Okay. So at 71, here's what we're going to sing. Fanfare's resound, announcing restoration. And that is in unison with the sopranos. Okay, so don't worry too much. If you're struggling with the top note, let them do that bit. Okay, so then the men are going to sing their fanfares resound, announcing restoration as a kind of echo. Um, and then after that, bar 75, have a little bit of piano. Then the men come back in and they sing, John will pave the King's Road with his life. Now listen out for that because it's going to give us our note. So they're going to sing, King's Road with his life. And that life is a C sharp. And we start on a C sharp. So King's Road, King's Road with his life. And we go, John will unfold that. Okay. King's Road with his life. John will unfold that. And the John will unfold that is in unison again with the soprano. So again, don't worry too much about the E. If you're struggling with that, you, you don't have to sing it too loudly. Okay. And after the John will unfold that, unfurl that, that's where we divide off from the sopranos, okay? So we're going to, John will, un, John will unfurl that crim. So the crim is uh, on the same note as the that. So, John will unfurl that crim. Okay, whereas the sopranos will go off to some soaring note up in the sky somewhere, okay? John will unfurl that crim. Okay. John will unfurl that crimson carpet. Try again. John will unfurl that crimson carpet. And then tenors and basses sing a little bit. Um, and then we come back in and here we're in unison with the sopranos again. And we sing. Turning hearts towards the light, towards the light. Okay. Now in terms of the turning hearts, the men sing turning hearts towards the light, but we don't wait for them to finish their light before we come in. So we sort of interrupt them. So they go turning hearts towards the, turning hearts towards the, so that's bars um, 81, they're doing the turning hearts towards the, turning hearts. So we interrupt them, we just come in, bang on the beginning of bar 82, even though they haven't finished their sentence. Okay. So, 
we go from where we come in again. Turning hearts towards the light, towards the light. Turn hearts towards the light. That's our bit. So that's bar 85 is where we split off from the sopranos again. They'll be soaring up in the sky again. So after, sorry. You need to hold on your hearts rather longer than I did. I didn't do very well there. So we'll go back to the turning hearts, which is bar 82. Turning hearts towards the light, towards the light. Turn hearts towards the light. Okay. And then the next bit is pretty similar to what we had earlier. So we're 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. I think it might actually be identical. So bar 88. Fanfares resound and nothing restoration. Then the men sing their echo, a little bit of piano. Then the men sing John will pave the King's Road with his life. King's Road with his life. So again, they're giving us the C sharp. John will unfold that crimson carpet, turning hearts towards the light, towards the light, turn hearts towards the light. Okay, then we have some baritone solo, some alto solo, some violin solo. We come back in at bar 159. Same kind of idea again. I think the words are very slightly different. Fanfares resound and nothing restoration. Then the men sing their echo, a little bit of piano. The men this time, John will speed the feet of he who comes. Feet of he who comes. But again, giving us the C-sharp very kindly, so here we go. John will unfold that crimson carpet, all eyes turn. I've got page turn here. You might not have because I haven't got the proper scores. Turn towards the dawn, towards the dawn, turning towards the dawn. Okay, then a little bit of piano, then it's us again. Fanfares resound and nothing restoration, which brings us to about 180. So then that's the men coming back in with their echo. There's some violin going on as well there. A little bit more piano. And then um, we have John will speed the feet of he who comes, which is the men again. Um, that's the feet of he who comes, which gives us our entry for bar 186 we're going to come in with. John will unfold crimson carpet. Okay, then the men sing all eyes turn towards that. We do all eyes turn towards that. Okay, so this is bar 189. All eyes turn towards the dawn, towards the dawn, all eyes turning towards the dawn. There might be a little bit of a writ at the end, I'm not sure. Okay, first altos. So after your fanfares resound, you've got a huge stretch. Um, where you can just relax and enjoy listening to everybody else but i thought we'd better have a peg for you to hang on uh, when you need to start thinking about coming back in again so we're just going to look at bar 929 okay and this is the tenor soloist is going to sing dawn approaches so we're going to listen out for that so we know where we are okay Gonna sing dawn approaches. Listen again. Dawn approaches. 
So we can listen out for that, dawn approaches, and then you'll also hear a, a really high chord in the piano and it, it's going to stay over it very long pause so that chord is going to be held for a really really long time and then after that very helpfully the piano uh, gives us all the notes that we need okay so you'll hear this in the piano okay now that's going through one by one giving the first soprano second soprano first altos second altos the notes okay because you all start on different notes in the next section okay so first out is you're going to start on an f when we get to 938 so let's find out where our f is i'll point it to you <laughs> this one okay listen again this one and bars 937 and 938 there's what's called a metric modulation okay what that means is that how long a crotchet lasts for changes now don't overthink it that's the best thing to do <laughs> follow the conductor who will be very clear and very helpful um, and just listen to what is sounding right and what's going on around you as well okay and although I maybe didn't sing that particularly quietly that whole section is marked piano which means quiet because it's supposed to be a very gentle section there and um, all of the women of the chorus are singing but we want to hear the baritone solo come through and we want to hear the tenor solo come through as well but I don't want them to have to sing loudly to be able to come through I want them to be able to sing really gently as well so you're really going to have to bring that bit down okay so then we have a bit of baritone solo he sings that we may walk our tomorrows in glades of tranquility tranquility and then we sing tranquility um, which will be in unison with the other altos and with all the sopranos as well okay now if we look at the tranquility that the baritone sings just before we come in okay he sings tran on an e and then queen really helpful because he sang E and then some G's and we've got to sing E and then some G's as well so that will give you your notes okay obviously I was a higher but it is going to give you the notes so this is him tranquility tranquility I suggest you take a big breath before you sing um, your tranquility because it's quite a long one there okay first altos it came upon a, came upon a midnight clear okay so at the beginning it's just soprano solo so that's not us now at bar 976 you're going to hear the piano play this and then here's this is the soprano ones Here's the Sopranos 2, they're giving us the F, did you hear it? And that's the note that we're then going to come in on. So listen again from 976. That's both the first Sopranos, here's the seconds, and here's us.
is 976. First sopranos, second sopranos, and this is us. recording all the soprano tracks so my normal alto isn't really coming out very well but hopefully that was um, enough to give you an idea okay so then after that you get the tenor um, sings for low the days are hastening on by prophet bards foretold then we get the soprano solo joins in and together they sing when with the ever circling years comes round the age of gold. Then you'll hear the soprano soloist sing when, and then we come in and we're coming in the same time as all the rest of the chorus at that point. And we're gonna sing this. And this bit at the beginning is actually in unison, just the first few notes. Um, peace or all, it's ancient splendor. Okay, so the piece or all is together, and then after that, the soprano is going off and doing something else, but we'll still be with the second altos for a bit. Okay, so let's try that again. This is bar 1003. That's our note. One, two, three, four. Peace or all, it's ancient splendors fling. Okay. And that's it, because after that, um, it's the soprano solo and the tenor solo. Okay, so we're looking at the song of Simeon and Anna, and everybody is in unison at bar 1202. Okay, that's when the chorus next come back in. And again, it's uh, like at the beginning, it's the familiar tune of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, but we've got some new words here written by Helen Rongong. Okay, so they might scan slightly differently from what you're expecting. So this is how it's going to go. So this is um, bar 1202, the last beat, so the upbeat to 1203. That's our note. Okay. So the upbeat to one, two, two, five, and it goes like this. He is a light burning for those lost in life's confusion. Lord. Yeah, shouldn't have a page turn there, that doesn't help, does it? Let's try that again. So we'll go from um, for those lost. For those lost in life's confusion, lonely and abandoned, in a heart's evolution of success. Okay, so let's try um, that bit again from one, two, two, four. Just watch out for where the loan of lonely comes in it's maybe a little bit earlier than you think it's going to be he is a light burning for those lost in life's Okay. 
So altos, we're getting very near the end now. So we're going to look at bar 1378. Now here you're singing with the basses, they're your friends. You're moving together just an octave apart, okay? So your starting note is here. One, two, three, four. Three, four. of saying come and greet your king. I always seem to end up doing that. It's supposed to be come greet. That's what the poem said, that it's based on just come greet your king. Okay, so after that bit, then the tenor soloist sings et regnabit in domo Jacob in eternum. And then um, the sopranos sing in eternum and then we sing in eternum. So let's go from the 4-4 four, four bar, so 1-3-9-3, three, three, and I'll sing the soprano part as well. Okay, so this is the beginning of bar 1-3-9-3. One, three, nine, three. One, two, three. In eternum, in eternum. Let's try that again. Okay, actually we could go back, I could play you what the, the tenor's going to do. So the tenor's going to do Et reg the bit in domo Jacob in eternum in eternum in eternum. Okay, and then we're going to get the sopranos are going to sing. One, two, three. Non erit 